local. I grew up uh, just northwest of here in Mariba. Um, went to school, did all of my primary school in Mariba, uh, which was fantastic. I uh, love the country. And uh, came to boarding school uh, down here for high school, St. Augustine's in Cairns. Uh, at that time, there wasn't much uh, in the way of medical schools outside of Brisbane, so I had to go to Brisbane uh, for medical school. So I stayed there for a very long time um, for various reasons. Uh, I completed my training there at the, at the hospitals in Brisbane. And then finally went over to North America, to Canada, um, to a very good centre over there uh, in Ontario, uh, where I did some further training. and. Uh, finally found my way back home after all of that, directly uh, back to Cairns. I, um, I always intended to be a general practitioner up on the tablelands here. That was, that was my, my goal from uh, when I set out. Uh, but, you know, life uh, takes you on different paths. And I met uh, the, the girl who is now my wife uh, in my final year of medicine in Brisbane. and, and we had to stay in Brisbane for four years for her to complete her training. Um, and while I was there, I thought, well, I'll, I'll do some interesting things that might help me with general practice, one of which was cardiology. So I was at the Princess Alexandra Hospital doing cardiology as a junior doctor when the director of cardiology there said, I think you should do interventional cardiology. But I think most of the highlights would come from uh, my time back here, since I've been back here in a more senior role. Um, being able to contribute to the growth and development of the, the cardiac services up here, and in particular interventional cardiology, trying to, to bring the treatment to the people that need it most has been very satisfying. It's very satisfying and it's very humbling at the same time. Uh, you know, we, we go through this long process to get to this point, and it's, it's something that you're trained to do and, and it's, a, it's part of your, your DNA to do this. So uh, I feel as though I'm just giving back effectively, giving back the, the, in, the, the things that have been put into me. I'm, I'm able to contribute back to assisting people to get back to life. Uh, I have a family and I, I, you know, I know the importance of having each and every family member at home. So uh, having the ability to, to help people to get back to their normal life as quick as possible is very satisfying. Uh, what would be your best tip to avoid having to come to see someone like yourself or uh, another cardiac specialist? <laughs> what does someone have to do or not do? Uh, well, it's very, it's really very simple. It comes down to just a healthy lifestyle. It's nothing. There's no, there's no great secret, you know. Um, of course, there's bad luck, and uh, but most of the time it comes down to diet and exercise. You know, it's quite simple. Avoiding smoking, exercising good healthy eating, that's all you need to do. Uh, the Cardiac Challenge, um, yeah, this is, this is uh, once again, I, I, I love drawing inspiration from, from other people and, and riding the Cardiac Challenge, it's not only enjoyable personally, you get to achieve uh, your own personal goals, but along the way you hear some amazing stories of why people are out there doing it and, and it doesn't matter whether you're in the pack one, the fastest pack, or pack 15 at the back. People cross the line with a smile on their face. They've, they've, made, they've, they've accomplished something that's incredible. And quite often you listen to their stories, and I, I really love listening to the stories, because they're often doing it for some particular reason that is uh, outside of, of themselves, and, and, uh, and it, it is truly inspiring. Hopefully, here uh, with, a, with a family that's uh, become part of the Cairns community, the far north Queensland community, uh, and we're building a, a very strong and world-renowned uh, cardiac service in this part of the world. <laughs>